Raise your hand, please. Pass the microphone around. Bruce. Kyle uh, and Damar, you guys had been saying that eventually you guys were both going to catch at the same time, and it hadn't happened all playoffs. Why do you think it happened today? <laughs> Can he tell you? You know, we just we just try to go out there and be aggressive. You know, we've been aggressive these these past two series, and you know, um, the shots just wasn't dropping for us. You know, and we just told ourselves we was going to continue to be aggressive. And it was going to come back around. We understand. We we understand that from the get go. Uh, Rachel, um, tomorrow I just wonder about if you could describe kind of what you're experiencing with that thumb tonight, the kind of pain you were in, and what measures you had to take to uh, to deal with it through the night. Um, just feel like a blow torch on my hand. That's all. But <laughs> you know, just something I got to deal with, man. You know, um, there's nothing else I can do about it, but just you know, try to play through it best way I can and, and, you know, deal with it later. Kyle, can you, uh, Kyle, can you, can you take us to the stretch where you made the defensive play on Dragic, then hit the three and then the tough two? Um, I, I, I have missed like four or five sh easy shots in that, like throughout the fourth quarter. And, um, I got opportunity to make up for it, hit a three, and then, um, they ran a high pick they've been running, um, you know, with, with D-Wade, and um, he's getting downhill. But, you know, in game one, Dragic hit the corner three, and I tried to get to him, you know, a little bit quicker tonight, and I got to him, and, you know, I happened to beat him to the spot, and he threw it away. And then the, the next shot, I just said, be aggressive. And, you know, I kind of got stuck, and then um, I just went completely to the other side of the floor and then made a shot. And, you know, my, my guy over here just told me to just, you know, be big and, and be aggressive and, and be me. Kyle, when they came back and cut it to three, there was a little bit of an eerie silence in the building, at least from the crowd. It felt like that. Obviously, you weren't phased by it. Um, what got you through in that moment when the pressure seemed to switch over to Toronto? Well, we understand that they're going to make a run at all times, and it's not going to be a 40-point game, a 20-point game. They're going to continue to play. Um, they, they are well coached. They play really hard, and they got Dwayne Wade, and and they're playing. And he's playing at a, a level that he's you know pretty much played at his whole career. And um, knowing that 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 situation is at hand, you know, me and Demar, we're our closers, and you know we've been our closers all year. So if if he had an opportunity to get a shot, I'm sure he would have tried to make it, and and he would have taken it with confidence, and we would have had confidence in it. And, and the same, you know, vice versa for me. Tomorrow, what what happened when you, you re-injured the hand, and what was the conversation like back in the locker room, and how concerned were you that you might not be able to get back in there? Um, I just jammed it again, you know. Um, you know, just to fill the pain, you know, I just wanted to deal with it back in the back with the trainers. You know, I didn't have no doubt in my mind that I wasn't coming back. You know, I don't care how, you know, how bad it was hurting. You know, I just wanted to deal with it, try to, you know, make sure everything was stable so I can go back out there. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, Kyle, Dwayne had said in the, pre, in the post game that you kind of look like a boxer with all the, the bandages and everything. <laughs> uh, just uh, can you comment on the, the physicality of the series? And do you feel like it's getting more physical game by game? I think the playoffs are, in, in general, physical. I think this series is a product of, of being a second round, two versus three. Both of us are trying to pretty much fight for our season. Um, but it's just, a, it's just all within the game, you know, nothing dirty. Um, you know, happen to be at the wrong spot or at the wrong time or right spot at the wrong time and um, nothing. Uh, I haven't seen anything dirty and everything's just been basketball. It's been physical. It's just, it's just a fun game and you know it's that time of the year. Any other questions? Thank. You. Oh, Holly, go ahead. Damn it, Holly. Sorry. Uh, what can you guys say about Bismack tonight, just from beginning to end on both ends? The blocks, the the defense, the energy, his celebrations, the whole. Deal. I think it speaks for itself. You know, the the energy that he brings on both ends is amazing. You know, especially when he did the Hussein boat. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, that that type of thing get us going, honestly. You know, when when Bismack is out there just being itself, you know, showing his charisma and you know, that kind of get us going. Final question to Eric, please. Jamar, I don't want you to give away any secrets, but what can you say about Alex McKechnie's shoelaces? Thousand dollar shoelace. 
That's all I can say. You Thank know, you. Thousand dollars shoe.